right, here we go. Um, hi. This is a little video um, that's going to be kind of an introduction. I'm introducing myself um, to you. You don't have to watch this video if you don't want to. I totally understand. Um, but I do think it's important for um, my students to understand, I guess, my perspective when I'm teaching the material to you. So what is what is my history? Um, I've got to turn this fan off. Hold on. Um, it's making noise. Off. There we go. Okay. Um, I just think it's important that you um, can get where I'm coming from, uh, where I came from, what I've experienced when I teach you the material. So anyways, my name is Kathleen Fernandez. Um, I am not a robot. I'm an actual human being who teaches this class. Um, I was, I am local. I am from the Fresno area. I was born in Fresno and lived in Fresno County almost my entire life, except for a few years um, when I was a, a baby baby. Um, shortly after I was born, uh, my dad graduated from the police academy and he got his first job as a full-time police officer. And that happened to be in the city of Oakland. So uh, we moved to the Bay Area for a couple years. I remember none of this. This was when I was an infant until I was like two or three years old. Um, uh, as you can imagine, or maybe, I mean, you've, you've all taken history classes and stuff in school. Uh, the 1970s in Oakland, in the United States in general, um, it was a rough time. Uh, there was a lot of unrest. There was a lot of political unrest. Um, it, it, was, um, it was a difficult time, kind of similar to now, but that's another story. Um, and my dad's partner was shot and killed in the line of duty in Oakland. So my mom said, no. No, I'm not going to be raising two kids by myself. Um, we're moving. We, we have to get out of here. So my dad uh, then got hired by the Selma Police Department. So I grew up in Selma. Um, I went to Selma Elementary, Middle High School, um, moved to Fresno when I was a senior in high school, but kept going to Selma schools. Um, So my dad started working in Selma, and but he wanted to move on, and he did. He ended up getting hired by the U.S. Marshal Service. So he was a U.S. Marshal for quite a few years. Um, something I don't talk about that much in this class, um, probably more so in CRIM 1, um, but is that working in law enforcement and having someone in the family that works in law enforcement can be really hard on a family. And uh, our family did not survive that. Uh, my dad left and honestly I really had little contact with him um, probably until I was an adult adult um, after that. So um, he also stopped paying child support and so my mother was raising my brother and myself um, and paying for herself and, and supporting herself with like $14,000 a year working as a school secretary. Um, I could not afford to go to college. Um, I could afford to go to City College, just like you guys. Um, so that's where I ended up. I was at Fresno City College as well. Um, I have been in these same classrooms. We were not online, of course, because we didn't have the capabilities back uh, 300 years ago when I was here. But um, so I came to Fresno City College and was here for a long time, three years, uh, not knowing what the heck I wanted to do. Um, when I finally figured it out, I thought criminology is really interesting. I I think I'm going to give that a shot. So after my three years at Fresno City College, um, and I didn't do well here either, by the way, uh, but that's a whole other story. <laughs> I transferred to Fresno State. Um, I uh, was working full time and um, going to school full time. And so I lived on my own, paid for my apartment, my insurance, my PG&E, my phone, my, you know, you name it. Um, it, it was kind of laid uh, on me, which was uh, made me much stronger uh, a person. So um, at Fresno State, I took criminology classes and I loved them. Um, finally did really well there and I was like, okay, this is, this is where I'm meant to be. Graduated and st still did not know exactly what I wanted to do. Um, I worked my way through college being a bartender, um, which was a great, uh, great job um, for many reasons. Number one, the money was good. Number two, lots of life lessons, like how to deal with difficult people, um, but, um, so I graduated from college and I was still bartending and I did not know what I wanted to do. 
So um, I decided to enroll in grad school. I thought, why not? I guess I'll just try and get my master's degree, keep going to school so I won't feel guilty about basically doing nothing. Um, and um, in the meantime, I thought I would like some more information about being a police officer. So I took a job as a community service officer at the Madera Police Department. My screen just did something weird. Um, the Madera Police Department. And um, it was really, it was a dispatching job. Um, I didn't know that until I got hired there. But anyway, so I did that job for about nine months. Um, and it was the most difficult job I've probably ever had. And I've had some really crappy jobs. Um, I probably had more education than anybody in the department and I was probably treated like worse than anyone in the department um, because of my uh, assignment. Um, I worked there for a while, eight, nine months, and um, then I started uh, a new semester in grad school and I needed Tuesday nights off. And my boss at Madeira PD would not give me Tuesday nights off, so um, I quit. <laughs> I guess that's like the long long story short short story long I don't know anyway so I quit um, I was like I'm, I'm not gonna give up grad school to to work here so um, went back to bartending and finished my uh, well worked on my master's degree I didn't finish it I did finish it eventually but not yet um, I uh, while I was in grad school um, it you are required to take a uh, do an internship in order to graduate it's part of, you have to have three units for of an internship um, I am the ultimate procrastinator and I waited till the very last moment and the last spot available for that semester was uh, an internship with the Fresno County Probation Department and I did not want to do that I wanted to work with law enforcement but at not corrections so probation is much more a correction style job um, but I didn't have any choice, so um, I picked what I thought would be the most um, exciting assignment, and that was adult field. And uh, the first day I showed up for my internship, I immediately knew that was it. That was the job that I really I wanted to have. Um, I could work Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. I could uh, carry an assault uh, weapon and kick doors down, or I could sit in a courtroom, or I could sit at a desk, or I could work with juveniles, or I could work with adults. There were so many different things that I could do. And um, I just knew that was that was it for me. So I started applying for probation jobs. Then got hired initially in 1997. <coughs> Excuse me, uh, as a probation officer in Tulare County. Um, and then uh, in 1998, I uh, got hired by Fresno County. I worked for the Fresno County Probation Department for. Uh, just shy of 20 years um, then I started working here full-time at Fresno City College as an instructor um, in nine I'm sorry yeah no man not 19 2016 2016 so this is like eight years um, I love it here best job ever um, I loved being a probation officer but this um, as I'm getting older uh, this works uh, a little bit better for, I don't have to break up fights uh, at high schools and stuff anymore. Um, I was assigned at Hoover High School. That was my last assignment at probation and I loved it, but it was crazy. Um, so uh, that is me professionally. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, personally, I've been married uh, to my husband for 27 years. Well, 27 years in November. Um, I have two kids. My oldest is 23 and he is an accountant here in town um, in Fresno and then my younger is my daughter who is a senior at Arizona State University and so she is applying to medical school right now. Um, <clears throat> I have two dogs, um, <clears throat> one super sweet beautiful black pit bull named Juju and then one really annoying little uh, Yorkie named Debo. Um, as you can imagine, we're football fans at my house. So um, anyways, that is me. So just <clears throat> as I lecture, as you listen to my vid my, uh, the videos, listen to, I guess, watch, whatever, um, you'll know where m my perspective comes from. Um, as a mom, as a person who's lived in the Valley my whole life, um, as a, a former probation officer, um, Anyways, all that stuff. So it is really good to meet you all, um, and uh, I hope this didn't bore you that much to death. It probably did. 
probably stopped watching a long time ago. but anyways, bye!